lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. Given a binary search tree, find the lowest common ancestor node of two given nodes in the BST. According to the definition of LCA on Wikipedia, the lowest common ancestor is defined between two nodes P and Q as the lowest node in T that has both P and Q as descendants, or we allow a node to be descendant of itself. Oh, okay, so we're going to have to update our binary tree code because it doesn't handle the word null. Let's make that fix first. I want to be able to generate a tree with null in it. Um, but these are U32s, not option U32s. So I guess, all right, I'm going to cheat then. Um, let me build this. Let me see if I can build this as a binary tree. Um, let tree is equal to tree node from vec. Paste that in, and I'm going to convert all these nulls to i32 min. That's cheating. Um, but it'll do the trick, and then we can just treat that as a null in our... here. And vowels of left node is not equal to i32 min. And the same thing here, except we change it to right node. Okay, so that, so now we should be able to say assert eq. Oh, let result is equal to tree, unwrap, borrow, I should have copied this, array. And then a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if that works. It does. Okay, it's not good. Uh, Kafka says they're option RC ref cell true node though. They are, but I don't want to put a option RC ref cell for each one of these entries because that would make the code unworkable. Um, and Lando Spark says you nested them correctly, but only going three deep. Well, I'm just copying this example. Uh, so, yeah. This example looks the same as this example. What's the difference? Oh, because P and Q are different. Oh, P and Q again? Oh, the common ancestor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we can build the tree. So git add source, git commit extend tree code to support nulls, sorta. We can't ever have I32 mins in our tree now. That's okay. It would be nice to make the tree a generic type, but so far lead code is all about I32s in their tree nodes. So until that has to change, I'll leave it alone. All right, so we're at lowest common. This is going to be a long one. Uh, 235 goes right here. Pub mod LCO 235. Lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. Pushing the, the limits of um, Rust's identifiers. Okay, grab that, edit source paste.rs, and then we will copy paste. There we go. Uh, and then just return none and see if it builds. Oh, right. Um, use create tree node, use standard uh, RC, 
rc comma cell ref cell right i can do it that way yes okay Kafka says, yesterday I discovered there's a code action to create that file. Um, oops, and Vim. Let's see what I have in my... Would it be something I could just map here? I have all of these different actions. Do these count as code actions? I need to learn how to do the code actions thing because I also want to be able to do it for um like imports um i don't know what the end means here maybe normal mode because right now i have like i i use space f to reformat i use gd to jump to definition um so it'd be nice to be able to just oh it's just ca code action Do I just do that? Huh. Okay, well, let me let me see. If I go space CA, no action, no code action available. All right. Let's try uh, move source LC0235 TMP. All right, now it's gone. If I try to build it, and now I'll try the code action, space CA. Um, I don't know what it just did. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Create module at, create module at, or change visibility to pub crate. Let's do one. Okay, it created it, but it didn't go there. I guess I could say GD now. Oh, that's on the wrong one. There. <laughs> okay. Perfect, uh, RM temp. All right, so I'll have to remember that. Space CA, code action. All right, so this is probably gonna be the last one given my timing here. Let's see if we can figure it out. Uh, this seems like it's gonna be a more complex one. What are they estimating? 20 minutes, okay. And I have just about 20 minutes. So I think I think the best way to do it is to write like a uh, uh, a function which finds the path to a given node. And then we can just look at those paths to see. So let's let's write a find path. Uh, okay, first let's write a test. Mod. Always write the test first. X1. So this is going to create a tree. Oh yeah, this will allow us to test our tree business here. Let tree is equal to tree node from vec, vec bang, copy, paste. Then I want to write a find path to, let's say to two, which should just be six and two. Um, let path equals find path, uh, given a tree and a target value, and then say assert EQ, this is actually path, path to two. Uh, assert equal path is going to be vec of 6, 2. All right, so how do we write find path? So this should fail because find path doesn't exist. Oh, right, nulls have to change to uh, i32 min. Okay, yeah, now find path doesn't exist. There, okay, now, now we're good. Okay, find path. Given a root of an option, <laughs> RC ref cell, tree node. Boy, it would be nice if they had a 
thing, and then this this will return a vec of i32. And then once we can find the path to the 2 and the path to the 8, which is just 6, 8, then we should be able to look for a common ancestor between the two. Between the two vectors. So let's see, what, how can we do this? I guess we could say, we can start off by looking at the current node's value root unwrap borrow val and we could say if val is equal to target then we turn vec bang target right we're just we're returning the numbers that that we found kafka says do the nodes have parent pointers no they do not they do not. So that's going to be, yeah, I, so we have to walk our way down. Um, let's see, if val is less than target, that means we have to search the left tree. So path is equal to find path of root dot unwrap dot borrow. No, no, if val is less than the target, then we want to search the right tree, right? If target is eight and we're looking for six, then we want to search on the right side for target. So this will give us the path to that. And then what we want to do is add, this has to be mutable, push our current value. Oh, that's going to stick it at the end. We're going to have a backwards tree. Uh, um, so val is greater than target so we say let my path is equal to find path root dot unwrap dot borrow dot left target and then we can just do these two things here And then do this here, and then do this here, and do this here, and put a semi there, and reformat it. Right, this should give us a backwards, let's see what happens. Method not found in this, because I didn't do that right. And we have to put as ref everywhere, yes. I keep forgetting. As ref. Uh, Kafka says vec deck or just reverse. Oh yeah, vec deck, right? Because then I could say push front or, or push back. Um, can't borrow as mutable. Well, let, let's see if this is even the right code. Yeah, so it's backwards. Um, do a rev. I think if I do a rev here and then a collect, it's gonna um, it's gonna say oh iter. Is going to say that I allocate. I'm returning something we've allocated that gets freed. Vec i32 cannot be built from this. Oh, uh, into iter. Oh no, that worked. That worked, and I think the test passed. If I ignore all the warnings. So I should also now be able to do a, do a path to, uh, what was the other one? Eight. So that's just doing that. Let's do a, a more complex path. Let's do a path to seven and see if we get that right. Um, test path to seven. Uh, Stacking says, are you using any plugin? Are we going straight hard mode? Um, I, I'm not sure what kind of plugin would help. If there were a plugin that would submit from NeoVim directly to leak code, that would be cool. Because um, right, I could just write the code here in my NeoVim, do all the tests, and then hit submit, and then it would go. That would be kind of neat. Kafka says, I doubt it'll work for longer paths. All right, so let's, let's, how about this one? Let's look for three, and it should end up with 6243, 
right? So this, because that's a that's a much longer path. Um, so we can say let path is equal to find path tree to three, and it should be six two four three. Let's see what happens. Ooh, yeah, it got it completely wrong. Six four three two, and it should be six four two three. Six two four three. Okay, so we can't just reverse it here. That's not gonna. That's not gonna work. What we can do though is return the overall thing and reverse it afterwards. Just return a backwards path. Just li li live with the backwards path and then reverse it in the main code. All right. So this would be three, four, two, six. Yeah, so that works. And then up here, all we need to do is say find path to each one. Let p is equal to p dot. Do we have to do as ref now? I don't want to forget that. Unwrap, borrow, val. Let q is equal to q dot as ref, unwrap, borrow, val. And we can say the p path is equal to find path from the root to p. I said p and I typed q. That was weird. And then we want to reverse this into iter reverse collect. And then we do the same thing. Find p, replace with q. Uh, and then for now, I guess we can just say none here and then print when p gets this p path and just make sure it's it's in the correct order oh it passed oh because i didn't write the actual test okay so now we have to write the actual test example one here um test ex1 so we still build the same tree, but now we're going to call um, lowest common ancestor. Um, and that's going to be equal to six. Assert EQ of tree and two and eight is going to be equal to six. And that should fail. Oh, <sighs> wonderful. Um, it's failing here because these need to be nodes. OK. Um, so that means let p is equal to sum rc new ref cell new Prakinji says newbie question how do you represent a binary tree from a one level i32 vector that's a great question can i show off my cleverness the way you do it is you use the index of the tree of, of the array to determine whether or not you're on the left node or right node and by taking index times two um, we basically say for each level of the tree, for each index in the tree, you're going that many out, plus one for the left node and plus two for the right node. This is left node plus one. Um, and in here, you can see this is layer six. Sorry, this is a, the root layer is six. Then we have two eight, which is two eight, zero four seven nine, zero four seven nine. And then we have a null and a null for the two off of this, and then a three and a five, and then all remaining ones become null. So it's it's kind of an awkward way to do it, but it's it's pretty efficient to store it that way. So tree node 
new of two. That's kind of awkward. And then Q becomes eight, and then this becomes Q, and this becomes P. All right, let's see if that builds. Almost. Expected enum option found integer. Because this is returning an option, right? So we have to unwrap borrow val. OK. So we do have 6 to 2 and 6 to 8. So the lowest common ancestor is 6. So now we just need to uh, find that. Um, which means we need to search. Now, they could be different levels, right? So we need to be able to look for the first matching um, entry. Uh, so how do we want to do that? We, we can just walk. We walk until they don't match. And then the one before that, right, they should, uh, Kafka says they should have a common prefix. So if we set, start at zero and say while i is less than p path len and i is less than q path len, we want to skip over the common prefix. If p path of i is not equal to q path, uh, then we found the first non-matching prefix entry break. Otherwise, i plus equals 1, and my voice is starting to go again, i minus 1. But it's not that, right? It's a sum. rc, new, ref cell, new, tree node, new, p path, i minus 1, and I misspelled tree node. That's kind of annoying. Kafka says, I think I found a way with both without doing both paths. That would be kind of neat. Um, I am almost out of time. So if you do think of something neat, I would love to see it. I will not have time to look at it today, though. OK, so the first test passes. Let's see if we can do it for the next test. Sorry, the next example, EX2. Same tree. So let's put that in here, right? 6280479 null null 35. We're going to look for 2 and 4. And the first common ancestor should be 2. Yep, that worked. And then example 3, we have a very small tree. x3. Uh, let tree is equal to tree node from vec back bang of two and one. Let's paste these guys in. And we're looking for two and one, and our output should be two. That works. OK, so I think we have a solution with two paths. Um, and like I said, I'd love to see it done with a single path. Tab that over. Submit. And that didn't work because I didn't copy paste find path. There we go. Ta da! 11 milliseconds, faster than 15%. All right, that one is done and in the bag. Lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. You know what I haven't done is Clippy. Ooh. Okay, well, let's do a Clippy pass. Get status jobs. Apparently, I have a few things left over from previous. OK, so git status, git add source, git commit dash m, problem 235, lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. 
done. Um, and now let's fix these guys. So best time to buy and sell. Instead of doing one dot dot prices len, we can do for item in prices iter skip one. I guess that's more rusty. Um, then this becomes price. And then this becomes price. Right? Oh, it's a star. It's a ref i32, so we have to put a star. And then in flood fill, we can change line 14 out to just creating a macro. Vec bang SRSC. And then make sure all the tests will pass. They do. And we're done. Get status, right? Get commit dash am clippy. Get push. All right, that's going to wrap up my stream for today. There we go. We did some good work. We wrote a, a tree helper code. We did four problems. Then we had to extend the tree helper code to support sort of nulls. And then we used that null stuff in the binary search tree. And then we did a clippy pass. Very good.